Good afternoon, everyone. This is just going to be a really quick update telling you what's going on, and um, I'm actually going to show you my shotgun today. A lot of people have been asking what shotgun was in the corner in my um, armed conflict with an unarmed spouse video, and so I will I will show you my shotgun today, I promise. Um, oh, and the crossbreed holster one out for most votes for which holster to review next so I'm going to try and do a work on the crossbreed and get that to you guys soon hopefully um, so what's been going on in my life well um, there was a death in the family which was unfortunate and that was kind of hard to deal with but um, and not a medium family. My husband's okay. My son is okay. Um, all that stuff. Uh, my brother uh, got back from the Middle East, which was good. I haven't seen him yet, uh, but hopefully later on this month, I'll be able to go and visit him and we'll be able to see him. It'll be the first time in I think about three years that I've been able to see my brother. So I'm very, very proud of him and his service, which reminds me of Memorial Day that just passed. Um, you know, that was a, a touching time. We went, um, well, mostly that day, Memorial Day, we were just traveling. But, um, you know, we always remember those who have served our country and paid the ultimate sacrifice. And speaking of serving countries, um, some of you may have noticed already, some of you may not, but I am wearing an official... Uh, Marine Corps Pooley t-shirt even though it is a little big on me I asked them for a small they gave me a small this is a small um, so I should have asked for an X small if they had an X small or should have asked for I don't know female sizes because maybe this is a male size small I don't know but it's too big on me but it doesn't matter because this is my official Pooley shirt and you may have figured it out already. I joined the United States Marine Corps Reserve. I leave for boot camp at the, you know, later on this year, towards the fall. Um, September or October. Right now, October. But I asked if I could get a September ship date, and they're going to look into that for me. So, that's another big step. been practicing my, my military bun, and right now it looks... Not so clean and neat and tight, but practice makes perfect, so I'll just have to do it again tomorrow. And the reason why I am actually, like, you know, wearing my Pooley shirt, because I think this is, like, the first time I've ever worn this shirt, um, and have my hair, because I'm supposed to be going to PT today with my recruiter and other Pooleys, so I've got to look all uh, moto. Um, okay, so, and then also... I finally got a chance to really get my hands on a Glock, Gen 4 Glock 17. I really want a 19. I've wanted a Glock 19 since, I can't even remember when. I've, I've wanted a Glock 19 for a long time. But the thing that I couldn't get over was the fact that when I, held, when I hold the Glock, um, my short little fingers had a hard time reaching the trigger and I couldn't get a really good wrap around the trigger and it would be just like the very tip of my finger would be on the trigger and I would either end up pulling or pushing and my accuracy wasn't all that great with the Glock. So I almost broke down probably two, three, four times and actually just bought one but I couldn't justify spending you know almost six hundred dollars on something that I wasn't that thrilled about. So I finally got my hands on a Gen 4 Glock 17, even though I want a 19. And I'm sure they'll come out with a Gen 4 19 soon. Um, but the problem's gone. I can reach the trigger, which is fantastic. So it's very comfortable. I, haven't got, I didn't get to shoot it, which I really would have liked to do. But I at least got to hold it, got to feel that the trigger fits just perfectly in my fingers. I don't know exactly what they changed, if it was the frame or if they actually set the trigger back a little bit further. I know they have the back straps on there. I know there's pr probably a ton of Glock fans out there who could tell me exactly what they changed on the Gen 4. And even my husband could probably tell me exactly, but I just haven't looked into it that closely. All I know is that it fits my hand and when they come out with the Glock 19 Gen 4 version, sign me up. I'm getting one. Okay, so 
Um, like I said, everyone's been asking what shotgun was in the background in my armed conflict with an unarmed spouse video. And this is it. This is my um, Remington 870 Wingmaster that has been um, modified quite a bit. And it is loaded right now, so I'm going to go ahead and unload it. And the same with how I showed in the um, fun in the safe video. Oh. Um, you can do the same thing with the Remington so that you don't have to uh, rack the shells all the way through the chamber. You can just remove them this way. And so that, let's see if I can do this um, and show you what I'm doing. It was hard to show last time. It's probably going to be just as hard here. If you look inside the chamber, or not the chamber, the um, whatever, this part, uh, there is a little pin right here that actually holds the shells in place. So you push that back and then the shells just pop out. So, and like I said, I showed that in my fun and the safe day video, but um, I just wanted to show that here too. So just want to make sure that my shotgun is unloaded before I really start messing around with it and showing it to you. So, let's see here. Oh, that's it. You can see the, the nice green plug. And uh, as you can see, I have a Surefire tactical light on here. You can either turn it on uh, this way, just turn it on, or it has a pressure, a pressure switch here. So you can just turn it on and I suppose I should check the chamber chamber before. there nothing in the chamber chamber is clear breach is clear all that stuff so completely unloaded and like I said you got the I have the pressure light and um, it's 12 gauge of course and this was my present from my husband um, I bought him the Benelli for his birthday and he just surprised me with this one day. He came into where I was working and um, just brought in a shotgun and said, you know, it had a bow on it and was like, here you go, here's your 12 gauge. I'm like, thanks. This has a, a recoil reducing collapsible stock, which is really nice. I like it because of my little short arms and trust me, holding up a shotgun for a while gets heavy. So if you can keep it, the closer you can keep it into your body, um, just a little bit more, I guess, leverage you have to hang on to it. So I like to keep it, you know, pretty tight into my, tight into my body. And, um, let's see, what else can I really tell you about? I mean, it's, it's just a, a basic Wingmaster that just had a few modifications done to it. Um, you know, regular front sight, of course, it's smooth bore, not, uh, not rifled, so I can shoot, you know, slugs or, or shot or anything like that out of it that I want to. I think I have another barrel for it somewhere. I think I have a rifled barrel for it somewhere. I don't know. <gasps> um, and it has this, you know, little hookup here for a, uh, for a sling, should I desire to put it on, but I have never desired to put a uh, sling on. So this is kind of my my home defense tactical shotgun that my husband bought for me. Um, I like it. It's my friend. And this was this was the shotgun that was in the background in my in my um, <laughs> that one video. Armed conflict with an unarmed spouse. There we go. So there you have it. My Remington, of course, on the side here. I just have double O, double O. Um, buck and that's what I have in, in it as well just double a buck so for anyone who uh, wants to try to break into my home and hurt my family I've got double a buck <laughs> so okay that's it um, I'll try and get that holster video up in between pool functions and PTing and learning my general orders 
and I already know the rank system, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see it. I have another um, outline for a video coming up soon, too. So hopefully we'll see more of me in the future.